Okay, let's do some math for fun. And here I have this very challenging algebra question for you guys. Right here we are given that 1 plus z plus z squared all the way up to plus z to the 6th power, we get 0. Our goal is to find z plus z squared plus z to the 4th power. Well, if you want to solve for z from this given equation and then plug in the value and compute this expression, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that seriously. It will be pretty hard, I would say. Hmm, so what would be a better way to do it though? Well, as always, please pause the video and try this first before you watch the solution. Done? Okay, here we go. Notice that these three terms are here, here, and here. And of course, we have this, this, and that. Well, if you look at these right here, we can just subtract one to both sides. Then we can see that the red part plus the blue part is just equal to negative one. And we have the sum of two things is equal to a number. If we can find the product of those two things to be another number, then we can use Fieta's formula or just solve a system of equations. We'll get a quadratic equation. That's the key to do this right here. Now, let me show you. First though, I'm just going to call this to be something easier to write. Let's say A. A is equal to Z plus Z squared plus Z to the fourth power. And then the blue part will be b, which is z cubed plus z to the fourth plus z to the sixth. Just kidding with this. Fifth. All right. From the original equation, we know a plus b is equal to negative 1. Now, we are going to compute a times b. Hopefully, this right here will give us a nice result. If so, we are in good shape. If not, then try something else maybe. All right, before we multiply, notice that we can factor. Right here, I'm going to factor out a z. So we get 1 plus z plus z cubed. From here, I'm going to factor out z cubed. And then we get 1 plus z squared plus z cubed. So far, so good. Now, a times b is just going to be z times 1 plus z plus z cube and then z cube times 1 plus z square plus z cube so this times that is just z to the fourth power that's nice and easy however to multiply this and that it's yeah some work and i would recommend you guys to do the following if you want to be a little bit more organized go ahead and just draw the tic-tac-toe box because we have three terms and then multiply with three terms. On the top, I'm going to put on these. 1, z, and z cube. On the side here, 1, z square, and z cube. Now check this out. This box means we do 1 times 1, which is 1. I'll just put on blue, yeah. And then this box means 1 times z, so it's z. And then just continue the same fashion. So 1 times that is z cube. Continue, this times that is z squared, this times that is z cubed, this times that is z to the fifth, and then this times this is z cubed, this times that is z to the fourth, last z, z to the sixth. So far so good. Now check this out. z cubed, z cubed, z cubed, tic-tac-toe. How fun is this? Look at that. z cubed. You don't see this often. Anyway, so the more important thing is that we have 1, z, z squared, z cubed, 6 to the 4th, 6 to the 5th, 6 to the 6th. Very, very nice. I'm going to write down the result right here. But I'm going to put it down in the following way. 1 plus z plus z squared plus 1 of the z cube. Let me just put down this one right here. Doesn't really matter which one you put though. And then you continue. z to the 4th, z to the 5th, z to the 6th. Well, we still have two more, so let's go ahead and add 2z cubed. Now, why did I bother to break it down like this? Why didn't I put 3z to the third power? Well, remember, originally we were given that equation, 1 all the way to z to the sixth power. These right here add up to be 0. So right here, we are just looking at z to the fourth times 
0 plus 2z to the third power, which is just 2z to the seventh power. Okay, good. But the problem is, from here, how in the world can we figure out z to the seventh power though? Well, check this out. 1 all the way to z to the sixth power. What we are going to do is, Multiply both sides by 1 minus z to the first power. So I'm going to write down 1 minus z times the original, which is just 1 plus all the way up to z to the sixth power. 1 times, this times 0 is just 0, so it doesn't matter. And then technically, I should mention that right here, z is not equal to 1. Why? Because if z is equal to 1, then the answer for this is just equal to 3, so nah. And plus, you never multiply 0 to both sides, right? Okay, anyways, right here, this is going to help us do the following. If you expand it, you get 1 all the way to z. So you have 1, and then plus z plus z squared and so on. But if you do negative z times all that, you will get minus z, minus z squared, and so on, up to minus z to the 7th. The middle terms will cancel. You expand it, you just get 1 minus z to the 7th power is equal to 0. And again, remember, z is not equal to 1. In fact, z here is the 7th root of unity besides 1, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, anyways though, what we are trying to do is that this right here is just 2, and then z to the 7th power from here, you can see that is just equal to 1. Let me just tell you z to the 7 is equal to 1. So, this is equal to 2. Coming back here, a plus b is equal to negative 1. a times b is just 90 equal to 2. Now, we just have to solve that. And right here, keep in mind, we are trying to figure out what a is. So, I will be looking at this equation. Subtract a to both sides. So, b is equal to negative 1 minus a and then plugging this into this b right here, and we get a times negative 1 minus a is equal to 2. Work this out real quick. This right here is negative a minus a squared equals 2. Put these two terms to the other side, we get a squared plus a plus 2 is equal to 0. And then right here, let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. a is equal to negative, the coefficient here is just 1, plus or minus square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times this 1, and then this 2. So 4 times 1 and 2. And then all divided by 2 times the leading coefficient, which is 1. Work this out real quick. This right here is just negative 1 plus or minus. This is 1, and this is 8. 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So square root of negative 7 over 2. Hey, that's going to be an imaginary i right here, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I would write this down as negative 1 plus or minus i square root of 7 over 2. a is equal to this. So, at the end, I will write this down right here for you guys. Therefore, we know that z plus z squared plus z to the fourth power equals negative 1, and in fact, you have two possible values plus or minus i square root of 7 over 2. And this is the answer to that. This is super cool because you didn't need to solve for z. You really need to know how to work out the algebra. Plus, just a lot of different things right here, right? And how you break it down and plus the seventh root of unity. And uh, you can also find out what b is if you would like. So yeah, that's it.